Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Pranay. In this video, we will be discussing about the practice material uh, flashcards. Before that, uh, we recently launched our website, Abacus website, where you can find infinite practice materials. The website name is practiceabacusonline.com. So I suggest you to visit the website first and then come back here. In that website launch video, I told that I'll be making separate videos about each practice material. So this is that video. If you have already watched the uh, website launch video, uh, you might already know what are flashcards and what are the benefits. If you don't know, I'll uh, give the link in the description about the website launch video. There I discussed about uh, what are flashcards and what are the benefits you can watch that video and come back here uh, in this video I'll be explaining about different options and settings you have and different uh, uh, themes we have how to select different voices and dictations all these things we'll be discussing in uh, today's video so I'll be sharing my screen and uh, I'll switch the camera yes now let's start with uh, flashcards initially when you open the website you will be seeing it like this so this is home page if you want to go to flashcards then click on this and go to flashcards here now you will see uh, this is called as flashcards page and initially you will be seeing two alerts so please refer to how to use page so there is one more page called as how to use you can go to this and read all these questions there are around 10 questions about flashcards and many other questions are there related to other practice materials also i suggest you to read the questions and next thing is you should use google chrome only and for best experience you should use desktop or laptop or if you don't have any other choice you can use mobile also okay yeah even you can use tablets that is also fine now I'll close this now you can see flashcards here zero questions solved this is called as time now if you want to start practicing flashcards what you should do is initially all the buttons will be disabled and only one settings button will be enabled so click on that if you open settings you can see all these options so what you should do is if you want to practice uh, this is number of times number of questions you want to practice if you want to practice only one question enter one here number of digits is uh, I think you know it so one is one digit number 12 is a two digit number 123 is a three digit number now we will do two digit two digit number of rows means how many times the numbers will be flashing for example two digit three rows means uh, 11 plus 12 plus 13 is two digit three rows if if it is two digit five rows 10 plus 11 plus 12 plus 13 plus 14 so it is two digit five rows now if you want to practice let's say we'll do only small one three rows so enter three here what is the speed you can see something called as speed for example if we said 1001 initially by default it is 1001 so what does this mean each number will be flashing after one second so this is approximately same as one second 1000 milliseconds you can see ms ms is milliseconds 1000 milliseconds is equals to one second so two digit three rows means two three numbers will be flashing after one second now enter enter your name whatever your name is if you want to include subtractions there is an option check this box display stopwatch is uh, if you want to display stopwatch then you can see one stopwatch here if you want to display that just click this box so each and every time when you open settings uh, you need to enter the number of questions again rest all the settings will be same so you need to enter one here and display stopwatch is enter answers at the end i'll talk about this after some time dictations also i'll talk about it include decimals if you want to practice you can check this box select decimal type so what is this type you can see uh, three options 12.3 1.23 0 0.123 what does this mean 12.3 is one number after the decimal point 1.23 is two numbers after the decimal point 0 0.123 is three numbers after the decimal point so i'll show some of them uh, for now we'll do without decimals select font size all this i'll be explaining one after the other so glass there are two kinds of looks here one is glassy look if you click on this uh, this is called as glassy look everything will be glassy if you want to go to the normal look click on this this is classy look now all this will be talking after some time just let's click on save changes now if you go if you see your 
uh, website like this if it is uh, like this you zoom out a little bit zoom out a little bit then it will be nice now uh, once after you save changes you can see this let's go button so what you should do now click on let's go button in case if you can't see let's go button so then you have made some mistake now you can't see let's go why because you did not give the proper input so you did not click on save changes so even save changes will not be enabled unless you give all the fields so what are the required fields this number of questions is a required field number of digits number of rows these three are required fields all these other options are optional if you are interested you can give otherwise you can ignore so now i'll show you an example now set set number of questions r1 so now save changes are enabled if i don't enter anything you can't save changes that's why you should enter one here and then click on save changes now you can see let's go is enabled what is this let's go when you click on that button the numbers will start flashing and the stopwatch will also start so i'm clicking let's go 61 minus 11 51 answer is 101 when you see this question mark it means that the question is complete and you need to enter the answer so enter the answer here type your answer what was the answer 101 now in case if you uh, forgot any number to add or in case if you have missed any number what you can do is there is one option called as replay the same question will be replayed so click on replay 61 minus 11 51 101 is the answer 101 is the answer so this was first question if you want to go to the next question you can click enter if you are on desktop or laptop to go to the next question or else you can click on this next we have selected only one question to solve since we are done with one question you can't enter more answers here why because we have selected only one question in case if you want to enter more questions that is not possible why because in settings we have selected only one question that's why you are not allowed to enter the second answer now after everything is done after you have done solving the question you can see results 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 button is enabled now so click on this you can see the results in results there are many things you can see so just uh, look at all of them now uh, you can see what is the time now it's sunday december 26 you can your name what are the selected number of digits two digits three rows we have selected the speed as 1001 ms is milliseconds did we include subtractions yes did we include dictations no so what was the total time taken we have to we have taken 47 seconds in total what is the average time 47 seconds since we have selected only one question it's it's same as total time taken now you can also see correct answers what are the correct answers so this is you can see question number q1 is question number one this is a question what was your answer what is the correct answer all the details you can see if you click on correct answers even if you want to change the look you can change the look here what are the mistakes made since we did not make any mistakes there are no mistakes even for this you can change now yeah did we display stopwatch yes did we enter answers at the end no so i'll talk about this after some time did we include decimals no what is the selected theme even about theme i'll talk about it now classy look close so this is how you need to practice flashcards now let's see about various themes in the website this is common in all the pages i mean all the pages like flashcards infinite mode speed round set all these pages this is common so if you open settings you will find something called as theme select theme there are five themes first one is classic if you select classic and save changes what happens is you will see everything and the background is white so everything is white so it is normal if you go to select theme and click on the second option called as math you can see different math symbols and click on save changes here if you click then many symbols will be populating if you hover they will be moving away from the cursor so this is you can see many math symbols here so pi infinite symbol gamma six eta integral symbol and uh, beta 1729 all these numbers you can see as a background as a background you can see so this is called a math theme now the second theme sorry the third theme is uh, particles so this is also very nice so what happens is you will see the particles background you can see many particles even for this if you hover 
uh, they'll be moving away if you click many particles will be populating like this if you hover over them all of them will be moving away from the cursor so this is particles now coming to the another theme which is called as palette so what happens is initially you will not see anything uh, you will see the background as plain but once you start hovering you will see all the particles will be populating so if you hover many particles in different colors will be populating like this so you can play with it you can populate as many particles as possible like this so this is another theme now one more theme is all mix if you want all the themes like math particles and palette together you can click on mix and save changes you can see all of them together now so you can see math here you can see palette at the same time you can see uh, particles so if you hover you can play with it like this so this is about the various themes present in the website now uh, let's go back and apply the theme as classic as math and now we'll do uh, dictations so what are dictations is as i told you in the video dictations means you will not be able to see the number which is flashed but you can hear the audio so if you click on this dictations and click on you will see various options here various uh, voices so what are this is voices you can see en en means english in means india you can select many options there are many options here whatever voice you like you can select that and click on save changes now what happens is you can't see the question but you will be able to hear the audio okay so there is one alert here you have enabled dictations so please increase the volume to hear the audio so what you should do is if you are not able to hear audio there might there might be a chance that your volume is low so try to increase the volume then you will be able to hear the uh, dictations now uh, i'll start the dictations start 65 96 answer Start. 21. 51. Answer. Yes. So this is called as dictations. You have just heard the numbers, but you did not see the question. So in this way, the dictations will be there. And you can see everything. Did you include dictations? Yes. And what was the name? Alex. So this voice is whatever you are seeing, this Alex is not present in all the computers. It is present only in Mac OS and maybe some iPhones uh, because this voice is whatever you are seeing here uh, in this drop down are not same in all the computers. It is based on different operating systems. So in Android, you'll be seeing some voices, different voices. In Windows, you'll be seeing different voices. If you're having MacBooks, you'll be seeing different options. So, but you will be able to hear the uh, voice. You need not care about what voice it is. You can select any of the voice you want. Okay, right. So this is about dictations. Now, uh, we have talked about Themes. We have talked about uh, dictations. Now let's talk about. We have also talked about decimals. Now let's talk about font size. So what is this font size? Now in case if you want to change the font size of any of the question, uh, initially it will be big. Now let's see uh, font size as small. I will remove dictations. If you set the font size as small, you can see the font size is very small. You can see it is very small, 5273, answer is 125. Now if you change the font size to normal, you can see little uh, bigger size. So this is little bigger than the previous one. If you want the, uh, if you want to set the font size as big, it will be like this. Okay, so these are the font sizes. When you want to change font sizes is, in mobiles, what happens is, uh sometimes the question will be cutting out of the screen so what happens is uh, you will have the background like this but the question will be out of the background okay in that case you can change the uh, font size to small or normal okay 
and next thing is we will talk about enter answers at the end so what is this option is if you are slow at typing the answer the stopwatch will be started so what you should do is you should type the answer quickly in case if you are taking four or five seconds or more just to type the answer then a lot of your time is wasted so to avoid that you should click this option called as enter answer at the end now what happens is you set the number of questions, everything you set, speed as 1000, enter your name, include subtractions, all this, whatever you are interested, you can set this and click on save changes. Now, when you click on let's go, you can't enter the answer now. 71 minus 21, 50 is the answer. Just write the answer as 50 in your notebook and quickly click on next button. 45, 85, 130 is the answer. Write the answer and click on next. Now, you see that you have both the answers in your notebook and stopwatch is stopped the stopwatch will not be counted uh, in typing your answer so if you are slow at typing you can uh, choose this option so what was the first answer 50 now even if you take one hour to type the answer it will not be counted here so in this way uh, you can save your time I don't remember the second answer, so I'm entering some random number, 1, 2, 3, 4, because I don't remember, I did not remember the second answer. Now, you can see one done. You can see done and one tick symbol. If tick symbol is there, so you have completed all the questions. Now, click on results. Now, what happens? See, there is one mistake. Why? Because I did not remember the second answer. I entered some random number. Now, if you click on mistakes made, so what was the question 45 plus 85 the answer is 130 but i enter 1 2 3 4 you can even see the question number so this is called a like mistakes made you can also see that what are the correct answers now 71 minus 21 answer is 50 but the important thing here is total time taken is 14 seconds only why because this is uh, without including the typing the answer and average time taken is 7 seconds so 14 by 2 is 7 seconds so on an average you are taking 7 seconds just to solve the question okay so now i'll do some uh, demo of flashcards i'll do 10 rows <coughs> at my speed 500 milliseconds save changes let's go answer is 36 next one answer is 8 next one right now click on results you can see both the answers are correct so what is my speed i generally practice at this speed 500 milliseconds so this is flashcards if you see the correct answer told you 10 rows so my answer is 36 correct answer is 36 yes so this is uh, just a demonstration of how quickly you can do flashcards okay right now let's talk about uh, dark mode and light mode you can see one option here in all the practice materials you can see one option light mode and dark mode just click on this see what happens just i'm clicking see you can see everything is dark click on save changes you can see uh, background is black and texture is white so if you are practicing if you like dark mode you can enable this option and if i click on let's go see everything is white in text in font color and everything is black in the background okay in case if you want light mode you can revert this by clicking it one more time and click on save changes now everything is normal right now let's talk about what is the right way to practice flashcards in case if you are beginner and you just started using flashcards so what you should do is just enter some questions number of questions you want to practice enter two digit three rows or two digit two rows and set the speed to whatever speed you are comfortable with in case if you are comfortable with 6000 so what happens now after 6, six seconds the number will be flashed and enter your name whatever your name i'll enter my name include subtractions yes everything whatever options just now we have discussed what are the various options everything whatever you are interested you can select these options and click on save changes if you are a beginner so enter two digit three rows or whatever uh, number of number of digits and number of rows 
uh, you are comfortable with and select any speed 6 seconds and click on save changes ok now start practicing and check the results now after this uh, start practicing and until you are comfortable and after you are comfortable what you should do is you should slowly increase the speed so ok keep it as 5500 or anything 5900 ok anything 5900 and again practice again start practicing the same number of digits and same number of rows and slowly try to decrease try to decrease try to decrease try to decrease and you should come to 700 okay 700 is okay it's very good if you are doing at 700 in case if you are feeling 700 also as slow you can even decrease and practice like me at 500 okay so to you 10 rows you can practice or anything okay slowly what you should do is whenever you are comfortable for example let's say uh, you are comfortable with 2000 milliseconds 2 seconds and you are doing perfectly fine you are getting all the answers correct what you should do now you should decrease the speed keep it as 1700 and start practicing okay even if you are feeling 1700 as comfortable decrease it even more keep it as 1400 now if you are feeling 1400 as little difficult you should start practicing 1400 only okay you will feel little discomfort while practicing you will not be able to answer quickly but you should practice 1400 only so after some days you will be comfortable with 1400 again do the same thing decrease the speed so keep it as 1100 or 1000 and start practicing so you will not feel comfortable so you should practice at 1100 or 1200 and then slowly you will be comfortable so in this way you need to decrease and decrease and decrease and in the end you can come to 700 or 500 or anything okay so in this way you need to practice this is the right way to practice flashcards and dictations okay one more thing is you should not remember the question and solve the flashcards if you are doing 2 only 10 rows if you are, i'll give an example i'll keep it as 900 see how i am doing 37 yeah enter the answer see as soon as you can see you see question mark you should be ready with the answer my answer is 41 and click on next okay so you should not uh, wait you should not remember the question and solve as soon as the you see question mark you should write the answer okay just like i entered 41 or some number just now you should be ready with the answer once after the question is done you should not remember 10 numbers and you should not enter the answer after one minute or 30 seconds you should not do it like that if you do like that then flashcards are not much helpful yeah one more thing is in case if you are missing any number in between while practicing flashcards that's okay why because every time uh, it's not possible to solve quickly so in case for example i'm doing this question see 32 48 and you miss this number so let's say you miss 52 in between so obviously uh, the answer will be wrong why because you did not add all the numbers but you should not stop uh, once you missed a number you should continue doing until the end in case if you miss one or two or three any numbers you should not stop in between you should continue until the question mark is there okay so why because uh, that's also kind of practice even if you miss some numbers in between answer might not be wrong but you are practicing your flashcards right so you are not wasting your time by clicking on replay so when you should click on replay once you uh, once question mark is done you should click on replay and do that question one more time you should not click on replay once you miss a number for example if i miss 22 you should not click on replay why because uh, you can solve the rest of the question even though you have missed a number so in this way you will have you will not waste time and there is also uh, scope of practice there